It would be an understatement to say that Patty Lorenz has had a hard time over the last 20 years. I live in Des Moines, Iowa. I used to have hobbies of working with wood and riding my Harley. I haven't been able to do that for two years. My hobby ended up being basically laying in bed in pain all day long and all night. My pain started in December of 96. Um, I had an accident at work and it broke the three lower lumbar and I had a laminectomy and a fusion. And uh, I had metal in my back, uh, two rods and an H pin when I woke up. Patty's life changed dramatically after her fusion surgery. Simple tasks became impossible, and she became dependent on her family to help with everything. I did not have much movement at all. To learn how to walk again it was very hard. My kids, they had to grow up very fast. My daughter was six, and my son was nine, and they had to learn how to cook and take care of me. I couldn't do what? You know, I used to do. I'd fall up and down the stairs. During one of these falls, she sustained an injury to her neck, and she was now suffering with a pain along the entire length of her spine. Patty's husband, Scott, tells us about the struggles he and his family went through to care for Patty. Well, it made me sad because I, I couldn't do nothing to help her. She went to physical therapy in Osceola, and my daughter was with her. I was at work, and, and my daughter says, well, they told, my, told mom to touch her toes and bend over, and the physical therapy guy pushed her head down, and Patty says, well, she hurt, felt something give away at the back, and that's when everything started going bad again. It came down to the point where I do not like physical therapists. I'm sorry. I had one that broke my bone graph. Over the years, Patty tried numerous treatment options to manage her pain. I was taking a lot of medications and then they started opiate therapies. I think the pain from coming off the opiates and then the pain I had, it doubled. And I also had a therapy of a uh, spinal stimulator. One of the leads after so many years came loose. One night, I told my husband I wasn't feeling very well. It looked like I was having a stroke. I started going into seizures. They were caused by the uh, wire that came loose that was going all through my spine and I'm still taking seizure medication today. Despite her efforts, her condition never improved and Patty finally decided that she could no longer live in a constant cycle of pain and failed attempts at treatment. After so many years, I had to do something. I couldn't live that way anymore. So I tried finding places that could do something for me, help me. I was just about ready to give up. And I started backing out of the internet and all of a sudden, Banati Institute came up on my phone. And so I looked at it and read it. And I'm like, oh my God, Scott, this is where we need to go. We need to get to Florida. We need to, you know, I need to call and we need to go. And so I called and Banati got on the phone instantly with me. And he says, I want you here ASAP. He says, we have Vegas and we have Florida, but I want to work on you. And I'm like, okay. And he says, my secretary will get back with you with when we can get you in. The next week we were here and he looked at the MRIs. I have never out of all these years had a doctor that seen my imagery and told me what I was feeling. He told me and I, I was speechless. I mean, when he told me what was going down my leg, from what, I was, I was blown away. I couldn't believe it. Somebody understood what I was talking about. Somebody really understood me. It understood my body, I guess I should say, not me, my body, my spine. And it was a miracle to me. An important benefit of the Bonatti spine procedures is that they are performed with conscious IV sedation. No, I don't feel anything. What's that? I don't feel anything. Is 
that the move like that? That's yeah. about it. Yeah. This anesthetic technique allows the patient to be a participant in their surgery, which ensures the surgeon eliminates the cause of the pain. It also gives the patient the opportunity to watch their procedure while it's happening. On the table, it was awesome. I got to see my surgery being done on my lumbar. You know, most people probably wouldn't say, awesome watching it. After all these years of suffering, I got to see what was making the problem. <laughs> and I got to see the nerves. But I think that's what made it so interesting is because I could feel everything he was doing and what the difference was making. And I could feel the relief when he got the pressure off the nerves right there and then. That was really awesome to watch too, how they stretched that out tube over tube over tube, you know, and through the, just this little incision. Another unique option at the Benati Spine Institute a patient's loved one is able to stay by their side every step of the way, even while in the operating room. Scott explains what it was like while Patty was undergoing her procedure. Well, I was watching at the TV screen and, and he was grinding away on the bone and stuff like that, trying to get away from the nerves and stuff that was bothering her. And I just was thinking in my mind, well, that's probably some of that bone graft that that other doctor put in there. And that was her, all of her problem all through the years. And there, there wasn't nobody that wanted to mess with it after she had several different surgeries. And when we got up here and he was looking through the x-rays and stuff, I just thinking to myself, oh man, he, it's God saying it. Though Patty is still working through her Benati surgical summary, she has already experienced pain relief she never thought possible. I have control of my leg. It's not tripping over the other. I'm not feeling the pain going down my leg. My thoracic, I'm not having the pain coming around the front on my ribs. And the neck, I'm not getting the pain coming down and going across and making you feel like you're having a heart attack. This side finally has relaxed enough that my shoulder finally popped and it was the best relief I had ever felt. I haven't, my, my shoulder and my whole arm hasn't felt this good for years. As she said, she walked in there with a walker and the first surgery and and she got up out of that bed and I was almost ready to cry. Now Patty is excited to get home and make up for lost time with her children, grandchildren, and husband. Going to Benati was the best thing that could ever happen. Um, I feel completely different. I feel like a you know, new woman already. You know, I'm gonna be going home and my kids are older, and I got grandkids that are a little bit older, and they're gonna see a whole new grandma. I have a disabled grandchild, and he's getting tall enough that I can't hold him, but it got to the point where I couldn't have him on my lap. Now I can have him back on my lap again, and I can get my hugs and kisses. So th that, to me, is gonna be the most special thing in this world.